much. It started with just a strange rash on maybe some spots on her knuckles as well. But within an, uh, a month, an Inland Empire six-year-old was actually fighting for her life. This is Pepsi pills, the same thing. Alexa Hernani is just seven years old, but every day she has to take a full menu of medication. These medications keep Alexa alive. Eleven months ago, her immune system went on the attack. Before that happened, she was just a normal six-year-old. She was so skinny. Alexa's dad, Jean-Pierre, says Alexa's initial symptoms were a strange rash and markings on her nails. Less than a month later... She was, like, not able to get out from bed. Uh, she can walk like a couple steps and then fell down on the floor. Alexa here has dermatomyositis, a condition that we can see in dermatology in particular because it often presents with skin findings before the systemic findings or the findings of general muscle weakness in the body. That can be quite scary. Dermatologist Sandra Lee says telltale skin changes helped doctors diagnose Alexa. So if I bend your knuckles, there are these little traces of where you had these bumps here. Those are called Gotrans patterns. Papules. Near the tips of her fingers, that's not old nail polish. These little blood vessels around the edges of your fingernails, that's something that we dermatologists might look for. Now that she has the right diagnosis, Alexa's medication is calming her immune system, and her immune system has stopped attacking her muscles. The side effects aren't easy. She got like a little puffy on the face, and then people make fun of her at school. But she's way better than the way she used to be. Oh, and joining me now, right there, dermatologist Sandra Lee and seven-year-old, very tough, brave mm -hmm. girl, Alexa Hernani. Alexa, how are, how are you feeling, first of all? Well, sometimes I'm feeling bad. I get headaches and stuff. Uh-huh. But it's all right. Is it? It, it is? You're feeling better than when you were yeah. first diagnosed? Yes. Well, and, and what do you think about how strange it is that what showed up on your skin told doctors about something that was going on inside you. Well, it felt a little itchy. It did? It felt itchy. Dr. Lee, this yes. is really amazing. I mean, I, I asked you before we went on the air, is this kind of like the canary in the coal mine? Can the skin really show us something that we otherwise might not know about ourselves? Uh, yes, in this condition, uh, you can often see skin findings, and they're very distinctive skin findings that are very unique to this condition that a dermatologist or, uh, you know, another practicing physician can spot if they know what to look for. There are typical findings like a, um, kind of like an eyeshadow rash, it's called a heliotrope rash, or these bumps on her knuckles and they kind of tell you and she just like most of uh, most people you get the muscle findings after just for some reason you know um, how long was it like a week or a few a few weeks afterwards you, she couldn't get out of bed she couldn't move she had to relearn how to walk oh my gosh so now say the name thing. say the name of her condition again this is dermatomyositis dermato means skin, skin and myositis is muscle so it's an autoimmune condition for some reason our her body is attacking her muscles and and feeling like it's foreign now, there's you know? there's really two parts to this story with with alexa because this isn't just about the the disease yeah. this is also about the way others react mm -hmm. so alexa tell me what happened with you in school when and your muscles, you know, weren't working as well as they should. How did others treat you? Well, they were used to calling me names like chubby and stuff and bony. Yeah, and when you were in and PE and stuff, right? In PE, yeah. I couldn't do a lot of things, so they said, you have to do it, but the teacher said, I don't have to do it if I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Well, that, and what do you think kids should understand? That I have this because it's really hard to be like this to yeah. be in this condition and yeah. stuff. So they shouldn't, yeah, they shouldn't make fun of you just because mm -hmm. you're different or there's something on your skin or your muscles yeah. are a little weaker, right? Yeah, because it could happen to anybody, too. You know, we don't know. It's not like this is a very common thing, but so, it can happen to anybody. So it is, it, there is another reason yet again to mm -hmm. pay attention to what we have on our skin, mm -hmm. right, Dr. Lee? Yes, and with stick with your instincts. If you think that there's something more or you're just not sure, seek out someone. And what's the name of your school? Mm, Banyan Elementary School. Banyan Elementary School? Mm -hmm. Hey, Banyan Elementary School, I want you to listen to me. 
Can we change the camera there? <laughs> you have a very brave girl yeah. in your midst on your student body. Thank you, Alexa. Laura. Anyone should be proud to call her their friend. Thank you, Alexa.